Courtney, good morning. Good morning. All right, girl, the red flag you ignored, what was it? It was a five-page letter from his current girlfriend. Oh, my God. I mean, that... Wait, written to you or written to him? Uh, It was written to me. She um, found my car in his driveway and ran my license plate and got my address. And she wrote me this letter about what a cheater he was. I had been dating him for like two months. And then I, he like explained it away and said she was crazy. Ah, yes. That they weren't really, really in a relationship. But um, two years later, I found out he was everything that she said he was. In oh, the my, my gosh. And now are you two best friends? Because that'd be kind of funny if you and the ex now are like homies. Yeah, I did reach out to her after two years when he did the same exact thing to me and was cheating with everybody else. And I was like, oh. Sorry, you yeah. were right. I'm yeah. really sorry I didn't believe anything you said. No, oh that's gosh. fair. All right, Courtney, Man. one second. You're in the running. Didn't that kind of happen with you, Sauce? Were you and all the girls that your ex was cheating with, you guys kind of made like a group chat and compared notes? Um, One of them reached out to me, and then because he had cheated on her and she had figured out like who it was. And so one of the girls that was in the group chat that she added me to was a girl that when he first moved here, I saw. I thought something was going on because they worked yeah. together and they had been dating the entire time him and I lived together. Wild. Yeah. Wild, wild, wild. So it was like a, it was like a, the whatever that movie is with all the women, but they wanted me to be like their leader and he'd already stolen my car at that point. So I just, I wanted my car oh my back. Gosh. I didn't want to be like, the leader of this like revenge group. Yeah. Yeah. But I did That's... hang out with them. <laughs> okay. <All laughs> One right. time. All right. Uh, so you fake name Amber. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so the red flag you dodged, what was it? So I was talking to this guy. Um, he was actually, like, a couple years younger than me. Um, so that was a red flag in itself. But um, every time that um, a girl randomly would follow me on social media and our only mutual friend would be him, so after we stopped talking, I found out that all those girls that followed me on social media, he was talking to while he was dating me. Oh Interesting. God. It's almost like they kind of figured out who it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Like, that, that'd be a huge flag. Okay. Fake name, Amber. One second. You're in the running. Uh, let me go. Hold on. In Odenton. Chris, good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. I need you to tiptoe around this, Chris. So the red flag you ignored, uh, what happened? So I was dating this girl for about three months, and our uh, adult sleepover time was going very, very well. And she wanted to uh, switch roles, if you will. Uh, you know, King of the Hill. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Fake okay. name, Chris. Hold on one second. Let's cleanse the palette real quick. Tell me, princess, now when did you she, uh, so Chris, long story short, she wanted to play the role of quarterback and you would be receiver. Yes. Yes. She <laughs> wanted to be the batter. Yes. Oh, okay. God, okay. And did, were, did uh, we, did we score a touchdown? Did she in your end zone? Oh no, that's a major infraction. After the yellow flag. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> but how? Okay, uh, but how, how? How long were you together for? Yeah, we stayed together for eight months after that, and she would always bring it up. Suddenly, hey, you want to try? Even after <laughs> drinking all this stuff, it's like, hell no. No, yeah, no means no. <laughs> what? Yeah, in case. Okay, Chris. One second, you're on the running. Mm. My goodness. Uh, let me go in Fairfax, Kendall. Good morning. Kendall, are you there? Hello? Okay. Oh, let's pick up Kendall. And uh, I feel like the phones are a little bit off today. Mm-hmm. I just feel like that's like the third or fourth one. Can we pick up Kendall make sure she's uh, good? Let me go. Um, Madison, good morning. Hi. So the red flag you ignored, um, Madison, what was it? I went on a date with this girl to this nice Italian restaurant, and the waitress was flirting with her the whole time. And I found out two months into our relationship when the girl I went on a date with went to the bathroom, she hooked up with the waitress, who I found out was also her ex. Whoa! What? She brought you to what? a restaurant that her ex worked at? Yeah, yeah. And then after we broke up, I found out she was talking crap about me to everyone I knew. My, oh my God. That is insane. Yeah, that's messed up. That, okay. Yeah, that's really insane. Yeah. That, that, I mean, that's psychotic almost, I feel like. Mm. So you were almost like a pawn. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Madison, hold on one second. You're in the running. That is, I think we had a, um, they had, had the roses like three weeks ago. Similar thing where he yeah. brought to the the OnlyFans models place. Yeah. Wild stuff. Uh, let's try again. Kendall, good morning. Good morning. All right. So the red flag you ignored, Kendall. What was it? So I met a guy on Tinder and we were talking for a couple months and then eventually we started hanging out more. Um, and so the first time we hooked up, af- like right after, um, he wanted to watch his basketball highlight tapes. And I didn't think it was weird. <laughs> we're, we're, we both play basketball in college. So sure. I was like, okay, cool. Like you're proud of what you do. Um, and then he started showing me his teammates slash best friends slash roommates highlight tapes as well. <laughs> yeah. And I thought it was like a pride thing in their team. Um, but I, he, I started noticing like while we kept talking and hanging out, he talked a lot about this friend. Um, and I didn't think it was weird at first since I know like with sports and college, you spend a lot of time around the same people. Sure. Um, but this friend started hanging out with us, tagging along on our dates. And then I eventually found out that they were hooking up together the same time oh. that we were together. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. How did you find out they're hooking up? <laughs> A friend of a friend, um, we had, like, similar friends on each team, and they just were like, yeah, we live together, and this is what's happening. My goodness. Okay, so when you confronted him, did he admit it? Yes, he did. Okay. And was the roommate always cool with you, or they act a little bit standoffish? We were always cool. It just got a little weird quickly once I found out, so (laughs) we just broke it off after that. No, for sure. Okay, Kendall, one second. You're on the running. My goodness. Uh, hold on, we need voice change here. Fake name Lisa, good morning. Hi. So the red flag, you know, my girlfriend, what was it? Okay, so he made me get rid of my dog that I've had for years. No. I mean, he's a pet lover, yes. And then he left me a week before my wedding. Oh, God. Uh, and then I got my dog back, and then he wanted to get back together. So I made him do allergy drops for six months to make sure that we were okay to get back together, but I kept my dog. Yes. Are you back? You're not dating still, though, right? Yes. No, fake name Lisa. No, girl. No, do not. We got back together, but I I got my dog back, and I I refused to been with him until he did these allergy drops and promised I could keep the dog. F- fake name Lisa. He shouldn't have to promise you you can keep your dog. Yeah. I would dump dump his ass. Dump uh, his ass. Also, you had mentioned th- that he left a week before your wedding. Yes. What is What was the reason for yeah. that? He didn't want to have kids. Okay. Well, that, w- that could pretty, be talked about beforehand. Yeah, yeah. it's a pretty big Thing that you guys have to agree on. You deserve the best. Yes. Come on. The best yes. you do. His ass. Hold on one second, fake name Lisa. You are in the running. By the way, vote for your favorite over text, a mm. 99338. It's going to be hard to choose a winner. I yeah. will definitely uh, say that. Hold on. Let me go. And Odenton. Lauren, good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hey. So the red flag you ignored, Lauren. Hey. What was it? The biggest, well, so. I got married, went to the courthouse, and they say the vows, because obviously we went to a courthouse and we didn't write up our vows, and they go, um, for better or for worse, and he looks at the guy, the priest or the gentleman there, and he's like, he started, my ex-husband started cracking up laughing, and I thought it was a joke, so I started laughing, but he was like, do I really have to take care of her for better or for worse? Oh. And then turns out, ten years later, ten years later, after dealing with a narcissistic relationship, um, I had to go to treatment for anxiety and depression. And when I walked in there, he looked at me in the face and said, "This is for better or for worse, Lauren." But when I came out of that treatment center after three days, it was three or four days, I came home to an empty house. Oh, Nothing was cleared out. All the things out. Everything. So it's hindsight twenty twenty. But that should have been a red flag back then when sure. he laughed. Yeah. During our getting married. But now I can laugh about it now, but it was definitely a red flag then. Oh, oh yeah. I'm all- so sorry that yeah, you had to deal with that. 100%. I'm so sorry. He obviously didn't deserve you either, and I hope that he chips well, his tooth today. Yeah, no, I came home, and he even visited me. I was there for like three or four days. He visited me there. He kissed me. He's like, I love you. And then he's like, for better or for worse, you know, this is just, it's, we're going to... Mm-mm. No, I, no. I don't like that he had to like put that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
I was just like, it was like a whirlwind of like, this is a red flag. Yeah, I, I listen bet. To. I red bet. Flag. But at least and now yeah. you're at least now you're out of it, Lauren. My goodness, all one second you're in the uh, running. That that's tough.